So this video shortly discussed about instantaneous velocity. For instantaneous, we are going to discuss the velocity at an instant time. So if you drive a car around 200 kilometers along a straight road in one direction for 4 hours, the magnitude of your average velocity is 50 kilometers per hour. It is unlikely to have this velocity throughout the travel. You might increase or decrease in magnitude of your velocity during the travel. So to better understand this one, we are going to determine the velocity at an instant time, which is the concept of instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity is defined as the average velocity during an infinitesimal short time interval. It is given by this equation v is equal to the change in x over change in time or the limit of the change in position with respect to time as your time approaches zero or the derivative of x or the derivative of position with respect to time. In terms of unit of vector rotation, instantaneous velocity can be computed by taking the instantaneous velocity per component, that is the derivative of x with respect to time i hat, and then the derivative of y with respect to time j hat, plus the derivative of z with respect to time k hat. Therefore, we can determine the instantaneous velocity per component along the x component along the y component and along the z component. The instantaneous speed is always equal to the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity. Unlike for the average values, the average velocity is not necessarily equal with the average speed of a car. So for the word problem, a rabbit runs across a parking lot along a straight path. The rabbit's position with respect to a coordinate system is given as a function of time by that given equation. What is the velocity of the rabbit at any given time? And what is the velocity of the rabbit at time t is equal to 15? So on the first unknown, we are going to determine the instantaneous velocity of the rabbit. So the instantaneous velocity of the rabbit can be computed using by taking the derivative of x with respect to time. So that would be the derivative of negative 0.31 t squared plus 7.2 t plus 28. So in here, we are going to take the derivative of each term. So first is the derivative of 0.31 t squared, which is equivalent to negative 0.62 t. The next, the derivative of 7.2t, which is equivalent to 7.2. And lastly, the derivative of constant negative 28 is 0. Therefore, the instantaneous velocity of a rabbit at any given time is given by the equation V as a function of time, which is negative 0.62t plus 7.2. Is the velocity of the rabbit at time t is equal to 15 seconds. So we've already derived the equation for velocity at any time. So we are just going to substitute t here with the value given, which is 15 seconds. So that would be v is equal to negative 0.62t plus 7.2. Substitute t with 15. And then the final value would be negative 2.1 meters per second. And for the try-it-yourself part of your module, we have the position of a runner as a function of time is plotted as moving along the x-axis of the coordinate system. The position of the runner is given by the function x is equal to 0.22t squared minus 9.1t plus 30. Determine the velocity of the runner at any given time and at time 2 seconds, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and 20 seconds. First is to compute the instantaneous velocity at any given time. So similar with the previous example, that is by taking the derivative of position with respect to time. So that would be the derivative of 0.22 t squared 
minus 9.1t plus 30. So again, taking the derivative by term, first is the first term. So the derivative of 0.22t squared is 0.44t. Then next, the derivative of negative 9.1t would be equivalent to negative 9.1 and the derivative of a constant is equivalent to zero. Therefore, the instantaneous velocity of the runner at any given time would be 0.44t minus 9.1. In computing for the instantaneous velocities at those given time, we are just going to substitute our derived equation of velocity. So at time 2 seconds, the velocity would be negative 8.22 meters per second. At time t is equal to 5 seconds, the velocity would be negative 6.90 meters per second. At time 10 seconds, the velocity would be negative 4.70 meters per second. And finally, at time t is equal to 20 seconds, the velocity would be negative 0.30 meters per second. So that is how to take the instantaneous velocity of an object.